Hi everyone, welcome along to today's video. So, someone wrote into me the other day to say that their sink waste was blocked and they couldn't believe it because when they took it apart there wasn't much in it and they later discovered that the drain that the pipe went into outside of the kitchen window went into like a gully and this is like a little square box usually it's got bricked round and it's got a grid down the bottom and that once they cleared that grid the waste run away okay similarly someone else rung me up the other week to say that their wash machine waste was blocked it wasn't running out the machine was just stopping because it couldn't empty and i went round there and found the same problem the waste that the wash machine hooked into that went down the wall around its trap and outside went into a gully and once again this gully was full of water and it meant the machine wouldn't empty very strange isn't it how can that happen <laughs> i can tell you it can it, it's a really strange thing but if the pipe that the waste goes into when it runs outside of it's underwater in a gully with leaves and stuff in there as well especially uh, blocking the outlet and maybe the outlet of the waste pipe isn't as wide as it should be it may have stuff in it so it doesn't run with the faucet it would normally have if it was brand new and dead clear so that's got the weight of water pushing down to get by and the fact that the waste pipe is actually underwater in a gully so that leads me to just showing you what it means on a piece of couple of bits of paper piece of paper a couple of pieces i'll show you that next then I'm going to show you how to clear your gully drain. Now my one outside it hasn't got bricks or any sort of cement walling around it. It's just flat on the ground, but it's the same thing. Basically, I'll show you how to lift the grid and get it clear. And once you've done that, all will be fine. But it's something to keep an eye on. If you find even your bath waste even may go outside to a gully. And if it's not running away, once again, this could be the problem, this one to look at. So I'll show you the drawing now. Here we are then, first of Al's dodgy drawings. This is the kitchen sink as seen sideways on. And you can see the waste comes up and goes out of the wall there and into the gully, which is full of water because it's blocked up down here in the bend. So once you get this situation, you can get leaves and stuff that's probably in there that made it block up anyway, going over the end of the pipe and there's just not enough weight of water to make it run so this, this blockage actually here causes your waste to stop up here so suddenly you find you have a block sink clear this here and then magically woof down it goes and away it runs here's a typical wash machine one where the, the waste comes up into a trap that's on the sink same thing's happening as it goes down into this gully same scenario, we turn this over and find there's absolutely nothing on that page because it's the wrong one ok let's tie this one <laughs> ok it happens alright so there's our washing machine waste coming up out and into the other type of waste that you can get for washing which is a, like a, a waste outlet like a U trap so it comes down the wall out and again goes out and it's going into water because this gully is blocked up okay again same scenario and actually it stops the machine from working it sees it as a blocked waste and it won't run the outlet i've been to a couple of jobs so far where you actually, actually got clear this out and then magically the machine works fine again so it's something to look at right then here we go this is my gully here as you can see mine hasn't got a brick wall around it it's not enclosed so mine won't kind of flood up like i've showed you on those pictures but my gully runs straight along here and into the main drain which is just over here so it's nice a little short flow really for mine but anyway as you can see when you look at the gully it's got leaves and stuff already blocked in it and this is only from a, about a month ago i cleared this so you can see how quickly leaves accumulate and get in there so we've got to get this gully lid off first clean it all off first and get your screwdriver under it and lift it up so we'll get her out of there like so so i did have this out a little while ago so it shouldn't be too bad so there we go and there some leaves have dropped straight in did you see that anyway gloves you need this is a muster and it's hands down i'm afraid this is the best way to clear your gully get your hand down there put the glove on and pull out the stuff and you can see what is there 
more leaves and rubbish and gunk. It's not too much to say down mine because I did it just literally a month or so ago. It's more than I thought it would but be. But there's still quite a lot there when you look at it for a month. That's quite a bit. It wasn't blocked, but it was partially blocked. Make sure it's really nice and clean. Rub your hand right around it. And if you can get your hand around the bend a bit, this way for me, then even better. There's still a little bit more I can feel. There it is. Get it out. And then you know you're good to go for a little while again. Okay, and that's it really. We put that lid back on and that's it. Bring this bit round here so it sits back on. Okay, get that up clean off and then put it back in. Okay, we tap it down. There we are. Alright, and clear this mess up and then we're done. So it's one of those jobs, a maintenance job, a regular maintenance job that you should look at doing all the time if you've got gullies and a lot of houses have, most of you do, especially the old houses and it's well worth doing this little job, preventative maintenance I call it. Okay, that's about it though, usual place for all my stuff, you know where to go, Derrick33. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.